looks to be the heaviest barbell that we have out there on the floor. In lane 10, Matt Bell has 135. Also in lane number 11, Paul Smale hit 145. And Tursky will hit 145 to match Smale. Big numbers to start off with for this age. 60 years old, you know, 60 year old guys coming in here, starting off with 145. That's huge. Right. I did not expect to see 45s on a lot of these bars. And surprisingly, there's a lot of blue plates already on the bars. Out there. Yeah. 150 pounds is on the bar in lane nine. That's John Simple. 155. That's John Crow in lane 13 hit 115. In lane 11, that's Paul Smale at 155. Smale struggling through that and able to lock it out. 155 for Smale. 150 on the bar for Tony Tursky, closest to the camera, and Tursky will hit that. And that 150 actually looked a little easier than the 145 did for Tony Tursky. Over in lane eight, Bill Johnson has 165 pounds on the bar. He already hit 160, so he is your leader right now. Two minutes to go. One sixty-five for Bill Johnson. Just unable to get under it. The long arms. Again, if we could clean up that form a little bit, keep those hips down, keep that chest up. Instead Paul of bending over and making it all be a, a low back move. Paul Smale at 160 loses it forward. Trying to match Bill Johnson. He saw, he saw Bill's hip kind of fly up. You got nothing left but your back and your arms uh, to lift that bar with. Overall leader John Crow just hit 130. He's in the upper right hand part of your screen. Bill Johnson lining up for another attempt at 167. Now one minute to go. Oh, oh. so much better. We'll much have better. Uh, no rep because he stepped over the line. Oh. He's got to stay in his lane. That's unfortunate for Bill, but those are the rules, and it's a, a safety reason. It's Smale misses 160. He's going to call it. Johnson's going to go for it one more time. And not able to get it. So Johnson had a much better position that first time. Just stepped out. You know, it's one thing that I don't see a lot of these guys doing is that you know you're, you're not allowed to step forward. Move the barbell That's back. That's what I was thinking. Move the barbell back. Don't really get up on that line. Yeah. Take your start position. Oh, Hold it yeah. Back.
the first set of wall balls. 20 reps at 20 pounds to the 10 foot target. And I'll tell you, go ahead, Bill. I was gonna say, I'll tell you what, all these athletes are overshooting that 10 foot mark. You guys, bring it on down. You got a lot of reps in here. That you don't need to do 10 six, 10 foot. A lot of that is habit. Some people shoot to get above a line. When you're not used to having a target, you keep thinking, I gotta get to the top of this thing. <laughs> I just gotta hit it. Hit the target, man, the bullseye. It's right there for you. Well, there's probably a little adrenaline flowing right now, too. So my guess is round two, they're not gonna be overshooting that target. <laughs> In lane seven, Randy Lane is on to the single, and there's John Crow, the overall leader, is there as well, as is John Stimple and Matt Bell. Tony Tursky is done with his single unders. He's back to the pull-up bar for the second time. Ten pull-ups to complete here, then back to the wall ball for a set of 20. And that's a big set. Look at that. Goes unbroken. Woo! He's going for the fences right now. Yeah. He wants that home run again. Exactly. Jersey well, coming into third place overall with 468 points. He's only eight points back of Matt Bell for second. Well, and we talked about earlier, you know, Tony doesn't need to win either of these events. He just needs to do really well. As far as I can tell, he might have had third in that snatch event. If he finishes strong here and he can hold on on the clean, it's going to help move him back up into second or first position. Well, so far, of the guys that are behind him, they don't have anything close to the bar work that he's able to do. So it's all about the wall ball. He obviously had no problem with the double unders. And that was the first break even there on the wall ball. So he's well ahead of John Crow, who's right behind him. And Tursky is also in front of Matt Bell, the guy immediately in front of him in the overall standings. Tursky is done with his second set of wall balls. He'll move on to the rope as well overall leader, John Crow. 30 single unders here, then back to the pull-up bar for 10 chest of our pull-ups. Wow, now the di difference between those two, John Crow was unbroken on the wall balls, whereas Tony took a break on the wall balls, but Tony's much faster on the chest of our pull-ups. So I think he's still gonna be able to push that limit, and it's gonna come down to that jump rope. The two of them back to the pull-up bar at the same time, now 10 chest of bars. Oh, and that's eating into John Crow's time. Going to get that to break, unless he, what he's trying to do is hoping that he can take small sets and not have to, far, not have to fall as far. Whereas Tursky's already done with half of his chest of bar pull-ups. This is a great spot for Tony to just pull ahead. Here he goes to the wall ball. Tim Fox and Bruce McLaughlin are also one of the chest of our pull-ups. Now the third and final set of wall balls for Tony Tursky. John Crow has one rep remaining on his chest of bars. He looks to stay in second place behind Tony Tursky. Tursky's on the left on the wall ball. Crow is on the right. He's going to start his third and final set of 20 wall balls. 20 pounds to a 10-foot target. That's Tony's second break on the set of wall balls. Obviously, he's well ahead of the wall balls over John Crow. But so far, John's been able to go unbroken or has gone unbroken the last two sets. So he's hoping to really make up some time here by going unbroken again, which he didn't do. <laughs> Way to go, Bill. Oh. Called him out. Did you catch it? Did you have a little catch of the Annie Jinx? I no. think I did. You're rubbing off on me. And now Tursky to the rope for the final time. 30 single letters. He's still ahead of John Crow. So Tursky looking to gain ground on both Matt Bell and John Crow in the overall standings. He'll get 100 points to the event win. 
John Crow, if he can finish in second, will get 94. So he only will surrender six points to Turski in this event. Turski's done. He is in. And he will have the event win. 532 unofficially. Great job from Tony Turski. Most important is that Matt Bell, the gentleman that's in front of him, is still working on his wall balls. A very good chance at Tony Turski could pull ahead of Matt Bell after these next two events. John Crow looking to be the second man across the finish line. He's got plenty of time. Crow is in. 6.05 unofficially for Crow. Second place finish at 94 points. Now here comes Matt Bell in lane 10 and down in lane 4, Tim Fox is on the rope as well. That's Matt Bell, second place overall, coming into the event. Tim Fox in lane four is done. We're taking a break on his set of single unders. Bell is in, so he's gonna finish third, which means that Tursky's gonna pick up 12 points on him. And Tursky only trailed him by eight. But remember, we still have to settle event number eight as Paul Smale is in. Beams came across. Tim Fox is done with his single unders. He's going back to the pull-up bar for his chest of bar pull. It's one minute to go here before we hit the eight-minute time gap. Simple is in. Randy Lane, who just came across, and Bill Johnson there in the dark top and camouflage shorts. Turski jumping up to 205 pounds. These two events could really help out Tony Turski. Uh, Bill Johnston, who won that snatch portion, he just rotated his bar. And he's got 205 pounds on his barbell. Here's John Crow at 175, and he will make that. 195 is good for Johnston. But judging by the weight that was on there, that looked like more than 195. That should have been 205. There's nowhere I can do math, Sean, except for on a barbell. <laughs> 195 on the bar for Matt Bell, and he will make that, so that's big for him. Tony Tursky's going to need to make that lift. I believe 205 is what he has on the bar. is on the bar in lane 18 for David Hoffman. He won't be able to get under that. Bill Johnson has hit his lift at 215. It doesn't matter what he hit on the last lift. Because <laughs> he hit more on this one. John Crow on the right side of your screen will make 190, while John Stipple hit 195. Tony Turski has 225 pounds on the barbell, and doesn't seem like he's in any hurry to make an attempt here. Paul Smale just made 195. 220. For Bill Johnson. And there are some numbers going up, and this is a gamble that Turski's taking. He's trying to get as much rest as possible. He's got his fans over there. He's kind of playing around with them a little bit. Knowing that he's into his last minute, he's got to save it all up. The problem is, if he misses, 
you don't have a whole lot of reaction time. So I would, I hope he goes at the 30 second mark to at least try to get one more if there's a miss. Got 30 seconds it, to go, Turski at 225. And he will. Oh! Seconds left. He needs to rock that bar back into his throat, shoot those elbows up, and he can stand that up. This is a huge lift for him right now because Bell and Crow are doing some good work on their own. 